though Carl didn't waste any time, did he? He wasn't tattling, Jesse. He just asked me who Vera is. All right, so what's the problem? Don't throw yourself away on someone like that. Uh, look, what's wrong with Vera? She's good people. Honey, if you just give it a little time, I know things will work out between you and Angie. And what makes you think I want things to work out between me and Angie, huh? Because I know that you love her and that she loves you. All she needs is a little time to get things straightened out in her mind. Get what straightened out? The girl knows what she wants. She doesn't, Jesse. She's in a bind. What she needs right now from you more than anything is some understanding. No, no. I'm tired. I I'm not competing with that father of hers anymore, okay? You sound as if you think she's made some kind of choice. She really hasn't. What would you call it then, huh? What would you call it? Tell, telling me that she can't see me even if her father does come home. What's that? But she's not saying that she doesn't want to see you. She's being made to feel that she's, she's to blame for his leaving. Well, her mother don't blame her. She told her that. I know. And in time, Angie will come to understand that she's not at fault. I don't care. I don't, I don't even care. I oh, Jesse, care you less. don't mean that. Look, I, I don't want to see that girl any more than she wants to see me, okay? Honey, you're hurt. That's the only reason you're saying any of this. Damn right, damn straight I'm hurt. I mean, I stick my, I stick my neck out on a line and I get it cut. Well, now at least I know where I stand. All right. Fine. If you, if you honestly feel this way, fine. And if you want to start dating other girls, fine. But please, Jesse, date someone who's your, your, your type, not someone like Vera. And what's wrong with Vera's type? Ain't nothing wrong with her type. Come on. I've met Vera. Remember? I caught you guys here. You remember that, don't you? Look, Nancy, just because the girl works over at Foxy's don't mean that she's a hooker. I didn't say she was a hooker. I did not say she was a hooker. At the very least, she is too old for you. There ain't nothing wrong, wrong, wrong with an older woman, either. Jesse, come on. You want, you want Carl to see you with a woman like that? <laughs> Nancy, I thought you stopped being a snob a long time oh, ago. Oh, please. I'm not a snob, and you know it. I, I just happen to think you deserve better. How am I better than Vera, huh? We both come from the same wrong side of the tracks, oh. remember? You may have lived in the same kind of situation, but that does not mean that you're the same kind of people. Yes, you were both poor, but being poor does not mean you have to be cheap or ignorant or low life. There are plenty of people who are poor who are just decent, nice people. Yeah, well, I'm sick in time, fed up with nice people, especially your nice little girls. They're too nice. They're so nice that they run out on you the minute that the going gets a little bit Jessie, rough. Jesse, Jesse, Angie didn't run out on you. She's just trying to do what she thinks is right. Is yeah, well, what is right, as far as I'm concerned, is sticking with your man, not turning him in for some schizo father that would smack you as soon as he'd look at you. Listen, if you give her some time, I know she'll be back. I don't want her back, all right? And I'm going to see whoever it is I want to see. You ain't got nothing to say about that, Nancy. 